So the Ministry of um, Education, is the Ministry of Education yet? Launch of the Ministry of Education Digital Transformation Program happened this week. And, um, well, we have two links. I have one link for those of you all who listen to the podcast. You'll see the links in the, um, in the show notes. Um, this one is the official statement from the Prime Minister. So his whole, um, so his whole speech. I'll just read the introduction, um, introductory paragraph, and then I'll go to an article from Luke that summarizes it, right? So it said, let me begin by welcoming you, including those of you who are joining us remotely in today's launch of the Ministry of Education's Digital Transformation Program. I congratulate Dr. Nayan Gatsby Dolly, our hardworking minister in education and the team at the ministry for this excellent initiative that is designed to accelerate our children's use of digital technologies in their educational pursuits. Today's launch marks the continuation of the good work that the ministry has been doing. We have seen the development and expansion of the school learning management system, SLMS. I'll tell you about that from a teacher perspective. Mm-hmm. Um, we've also seen the provision of end-to-end service delivery um, for the applications of national scholarships and bursaries and GATE. We'll talk about the GATE website too, of course. <laughs> um, the, these are just two of the e-services currently available, and they will continue to significantly increase. Ours is introductory statement. And now I'll switch over to the loop article that pulls some of the song bites, right? Um, this is a short clip here. Let me play this short clip. Today is one of those days in this job that I am particularly pleased to be associated with the day's work and these day's proceedings. A few years ago, when I became prime minister of this country, one of the requirements was to reduce government expenditure. And one of the things I had to do was to reduce the size of the cabinet. At that time, ministerial uh, numbers were 32. Okay, you talking but again, this is from that interview. All right, cool, yeah. You're talking, you're talking too much there. As, yeah. So what, um, what's, what's your first clip here? <clears throat> Transformation also means that we have to change. We have to change the way we are used to doing things to step out of our comfort zones and face a degree of uncertainty and disruption in our daily lives. We have to acknowledge that there are things that we do not yet know or the impacts emerging technologies will have, but we must have a balanced outlook. From somebody who don't use ATMs, I um. Oh, you know what's going on? That's the first thing I was going to say. You know, on that <laughs> if we actually start, um, you know, be kind of hypocritical, saying these things. We gotta like, try, you know. Stuff. We gotta try. So I don't know. I, I am. Um, I am very concerned with this. Let me tell you something about this school learning management system (SLMS). They basically put every teacher on the system. And they use it using Moodle? Yeah, using Moodle, yeah. Moodle, um, okay. The, the technology is Moodle for sure. And they want, they just want you to go and upload your notes and thing and put it there for, for um, students to go on and, um, and all that kind of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Every time you go on your site, dog, every time it turn working, it it given trouble. It have like the students you you tell them go and look for your look for the um the subject and mm-hmm. you try to find I, I like I, I go on it right now and I trying to find sources on IT and nothing. Um if I put maths, nothing. It's like a an empty, a, a barren digital wasteland of mm-hmm. n- no content. It I don't know what the goal was. What it what what it seems like is there's a there's a kind of a vision of a place where all students in Trinidad could go to view these resources. But one of the biggest things you have to do is when you when you're dealing with content is you have to actually get content now. And getting content from teachers is not an easy thing to do because it had there's a copyright thing inside there because I'm not just going to take my notes and give it to you and put mm-hmm. it inside there. So this school learning management system is nice to see. And it's nice to talk about. But who, who, who like organizing the content for this? And when you go to the website, the website looks, the homepage looks nice, but all the functionality, like NMS. Yeah, I mean, because when you run in Moodle, you need people in the background to maintain it, to manage it, to update it, because you have course shells and all of that. You need people 
you know, I don't know if each year too you need a, you need to update certain stuff, you know. So running Moodle by itself, you need a you need so you need a team in the background to do the administration, the maintenance, any upgrades. If you're running Moodle three or Moodle four, yeah. so I, you don't even know if they have that going on in the background, right? No. And even apart from that, how they handle authentication? How would a student? Login I didn't, or I, didn't, I, ne- I never even tried to log access. in. I, I just hear the horror story. Some teachers and they used to ask me to help them learn how to use it. Yeah. And when I tried to use it, I was like, no, nah, I never bother going, going to try to log into this or do anything because it didn't make any sense. It really didn't make any sense. So yeah. it's nice to have it there, but it has to it has to actually have content. And yeah, in order to get content, you gotta pay people. And you yeah. if you're paying people, nobody ain't putting the content there. And I mean, so in your space too, so you have, you have your own certain like course shell or, or IT name of the subject area or something for Andre. Suppo- supposed for Andre to, Charles, yeah. yeah, supposed to, but I didn't follow through on it because the, the, the experience was so bitter. Yeah. I was like, nah, I don't even have time to fight. I have, I just get more, more joy making YouTube videos and putting up, putting up the videos for free. And yeah, then that, children, really. yeah, then going there to tell them they had to go to this clunky website to try to, like, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. One of my goals, it's in the next five years, is to build an actual learning place for CXC students mm-hmm. and have an app on our, um, our website and whatnot where you could actually go and get stuff that yeah. matters. And all the teachers that normally share all their free information, get them to just be like, okay, here, let me, let me create a little thing here, put your things inside here, advertise your classes. Like that's a business thing that I want to do. Yeah. And 25 people are listening to the podcast. You could try it too. We'll see who wins, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, you never know if this this itself or something that they, they outsource, you know, and probably yeah, outsourcing yeah. stuff go yep. after a while. You know, you are probably either the company ain't really updating it as it as they should, or, or the government not paying them. And it's yeah. like, okay, you're not paying me then. Yeah, or the company sure. gives some clear layout to say, okay, in order for this to work, you need to do your part and get this. And the government yeah. is like, sure, we'll get teachers to put things in and nothing goes yeah. in. All right, I next mean, thing is Gate. Right, sorry, Gate. Yeah, you... co- I just wanted to say, co- yeah, go ahead, say that, yeah. Moodle, you can either run it on premises or you have yeah. Moodle Cloud. The Cloud, so yeah. I'm not sure which, yeah. which one they're doing, but yeah. It even, so, Gate, yeah. <laughs> you, you have experience with the Gate website? Yeah, of course. I <laughs> I've been a student. First time I interacted it was in two thousand eight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, since then to now, I don't think much changed in terms of no the interface. I went on it in a while, but you know, but um, the, 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 the at least got a SSL certificate. Let me see. I don't know. Gate registration. Gate. Um, let me see. Gate, Gate application. <laughs> That's not the e portal. Uh, nope. Nope. It's not secure. Oh my goodness. This is the exact same 2008 layout that. Yep. And you know, I mean, for the BM minimum, you're collecting people's username and password. Yeah. And a page that's not secure. Yeah, yeah. You know? Look at Tom. Um, look at here. Look at right here. Woof. This, this reminds me of when I was building websites. In 2003, boy, Whew. this was yeah. like, you put, you put your layout, you put the bar, it have no responsivity, nothing. The bar just clear my yeah. head, don't, don't use, um, don't use any of your other passwords for your accounts. Oh. Watch this, recommended browsers, Internet Explorer, 9.0 <laughs> or above, Mozilla Firefox 24, Safari 5.1, Google Chrome 28 or above, Chrome on 103 right now, I just laying all you know. Chrome, Chrome stable is 103. That is almost 100 more updates happened to Chrome since they recommended this. Yeah, this Git website. I yeah, if you're if you're on this, any other just forget. Do not yeah. Don't put your um don't put your commonly used passwords because nah. Mm-mm. I'm not have <laughs> I'm not having it. 